everyone, this is Hossein Mohtarzadeh. I would like to talk about VR in Dflow, or more specifically, Blender um, to Dflow. So I'll talk about basic ad um, scene in Dflow and some of the shortcomings that we have. Uh, a little bit of Blender, Blender software, we can do 3D modeling and export it, how we can export it uh, to Dflow and to Ogre 3D. And if you want to add a 3D model in your current scene, or if you already have it, for instance, or something here, um, and some more examples and next steps. You probably have seen these type of things in your system if you're using Motec systems, um, but I'll tell you what are the possibilities. So you know that in Dflow, because it's not designed as a 3D modeling software, so we cannot do much in terms of the objects that we have, but you have lots of scenes here that uh, Motec has uh, provided. You can, you can use them, you can combine them, but the challenge is uh, what if you want a new one? and want to modify the existing one. So these are the things that I want to address. Of course, this is just 10 minutes or so. So if you become interested, we can have a more comprehensive one later on. So how can we create scenes? Um, Dflow um, scenes or models are created using 2D uh, animation software. Quite a lot of them out there. Um, and uh, we need a specific um, format um, that is basically Ogre format that Dflow accepts. So special export needs um, to convert the original 3D into, into Dflow. So we use, uh, today we introduce um, Blender to you guys. As I said, there are quite many other applications or software packages you can do 3D modeling. And if they can provide Ogre, that's, that would be fantastic. So currently we have Ogre, which is comp compatible with Dflow, but we are going toward Unity eventually. As I said, even game engines could be quite a lot. We are using this add-on. Um, just remember that you need this one, this add-on in your Blender so that you can actually export things to Dflow. So I'll show you things quite fast today, but um, uh, again, as I said, we can, we can have a more compressible later on. So let's design a chair in Dflow and bring it into the, um, sorry, in Blender and then bring it to Dflow. So as I said, we need this one. Well, let's um, bring up Blender. So this is Blender. Don't worry about all these things. They are quite intimidating. Um, scale, in Z direction, two, right? In Z direction, two, okay. And then we can we can have, uh, for instance, some cuts here. We can have some cuts here. Okay, so you can see where I'm heading, right? So you can select, uh, for instance. In the meantime, we could I can show you the short keys as well. Okay, so that you can, you can see what I'm doing. Anyway, um, what I'm gonna do? Let's go here, and then I'll select these ones and this one, and extrude it. Right? You can see what's happening. You can even grab it. You know, make sure some artistic views, and then we need legs, right? So I'll just start here, there, maybe just. Start like that, this, that, and the other one, and then extrude them. Yay, you have your chair, right? So you can, can change color, for instance. You can go color, change material, color, base color if it changes. Am I right? Yes. And then it doesn't show, right? But because if you're not in that mode, so we change the mode here, and then the color changes. So imagine you want to add some other things. Let's say a mesh, a monkey. Monkey is big, so scale it. Okay, we grab it, increase, um, scale it to, okay. Grab it again, a little bit changes. Change the color, for instance. Uh, use the color again. That's it. Enjoy it. And in order to export it, you select everything and export. Here, this one, as I told you, you do not have it as the default, but I have, I've done this add-on here, right? Um, that we can actually export. So it's as easy as that. So just export, okay, export and over. And then it must be in your scenes, resources and your scenes and then give it a name and then basically export it. So I've done something similar. So when you open your Dflow, you have at a scene, right? Then you go to that folder that you created, which is scenes, and then the chair that I have created. So let's see what's happening. 
You see, that's beautiful, right? You have everything. What you can do, you can do all sorts of things with it now. It's uh, basically an object, right? Changing, you know, rotation, rise, everything, all the controllers here, right? Cool. Let's move on with that. Now, next um, point would be, how can we add, for instance, you have something like this CT light scene that you have already in the left-hand side. You want to add something like that, like a castle in there, right? Let's go back to our Blender and start um, from scratch. Okay. And then you can delete this one. You can start, let's say, with the with some extra things like a wall of the factory, right? So you see what's happening and then you add um, in the Y direction, you know, like four, and then you grab it, so Y direction, you know, and you grab it in the Y direction and then move it. And then you can have, for instance, uh, another one, right? In Y direction and move it. And then you can go take this one around Z and 90 degrees, okay? You see what I'm doing, right? So basically uh, you can make changes now. Maybe that, that would look, look easier to do that, right? Then you can have grabbing and moving here and then grabbing this one all the way there. You can make changes as you wish, right? And that's basically your, your kind of castle, right? And you can have all the things, right? One of your the monkey coming or chairs that you created later. And then you can basically do the same thing, file, export, and OK, right? So again, I've done something similar because this is another one, right? This is something quite different. So I'll bring the scene that I talked about. So the scene talked about was here. You already have it, so I'll bring it up. And then you'll see what's happening. This is your scene, OK? So this is the area I'm talking about. This area is quite empty. I want to add that castle, right? Then add scene, go there and your blender. And then what I've created, say a wall that I created. Here's the wall. The wall is coming in the middle, right? And then you bring the wall across. So first of all, rotate it like 90 degrees, right? And then you bring it up all the way. Unless that would be a bit more. Um, here we go. It should be zero. And it's just manipulation here and there, right? Then you bring it here, scale it, and scale it a little bit, okay? Wherever you want to, you want to put it, right? Um, let's say you want to put it right here, right there, and then give it a little bit of light. Cool. Okay. You can do all sorts of things with it. Hope you enjoyed this one too. And um, I've created some other things that uh, with it and then the flow uh, on top of it, like uh, controlling or something around, let's say the HBM and adding, adding some other things like a hat. Or for instance, um, you can create a character, bring character from outside and then do other things with it, you know, or a bit more comprehensive one, for instance, as you can see, I've added different things, right? That's the HPM, audio, and also the controllers, right? So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please let us know if you are interested to uh, have a more comprehensive, like a uh, masterclass type of things. There would be a survey that Rosie will share and please fill, fill out that one so that we can, we can plan ahead for you guys. Um, and maybe what you learn, you can use it in this video contest that we will have. Um, I would like to thank everyone who has uh, helped contribute it. Thank you very much. Hope to see you all soon.